one pour more. It's going to be a Beyond Basic technique and it is going to be another dirty pour, though you can do this as a clean pour. So I'm going to take my same cup, save these, save these, and I'm going to stack my paint in. First paint in is last paint out. Until I get my cup with the right amount of paint for me. So if I give you a nine ounce cup for your stacking and you need six and a half ounces of paint, you can estimate it or you can always use your liquid measuring cup to mark the line on the cup. You can fill your measuring cup, that's what I do. Fill your measuring cup with six and a half ounces of water, pour it into your cup and mark on the side where that six and a half ounces is. Cheaty, cheaty. getting all nice and stacked here. This technique is gonna also need a dish strainer. You can pick these up at the dollar store. At your grocery store, they're probably gonna be more expensive, but if you see them on sale for less than a dollar, definitely pick one up if you wanted to do a pour. You can also use your sink strainer. Um, just make sure you wash it really good right after painting and you'll be able to get all of the paint off of it no problem. You just don't want to let that paint dry on there. So I've run out of the colors that I want. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll take another one of my colors. I've got some green here and I'm just going to finish this off because it's going to end up going off the edge of the painting anyway and it won't even be in the painting because it's the last color and it'll be the first one out. So I'm going to place my strainer in the middle of my painting and I'm going to take my dirty pour and I'm just going to go around, fill it up. And it's going to create a pattern on my canvas. I'm going to wait till I see the majority of that paint out of here, and then I'll move my strainer to the side. Like I said, if it's my actual sink strainer, I'm probably going to want to wash it pretty immediately. And again, when I tilt my canvas, Especially if I have a pattern, I want to go crossways and then I want to come back to the center to keep that pattern. And then I'll go crossways. I've got some air bubbles in this one. You can see those air bubbles in the center from those holes. and then off the edges. Again, if the paint's not wanting to move very much, you can help it along by removing some of that friction by placing some paint down in front. And then you always wanna bring your pattern back to where you want it. All right, there's our sink strainer pour. And these bubbles will pop on their own or you can choose to pop them. It's totally up to you. So thanks so much for pouring me. I hope you pouring with me. I hope you enjoy the other techniques as well.